Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer. This video is going to be about helping incoming high school freshmen. So these are 13 and 14 year olds who are changing schools in the US, but I imagine similar advice fits all over the world. Uh, the gameplay, I'm playing with some subscribers. I know you guys love it when I play with subs, and I wanted to use it even though it's not the most amazing gameplay in the world. So let's get this started. So recently I made a video about incoming college freshmen. These are 18 year olds who are going off to college or university if you're not from the US. and it was kind of cool to make that video because I have this expectation that just about everybody is going to enjoy their, what I'll call their university experience. You know, you can go in there, reinvent yourself, have a good time, all is well, and it double kill, and, um, and that is cool. Not everyone is going to love high school. High school is really a much, much tougher environment to have, uh, like, a, to, to look back and say, man, yeah, that was really successful. You know, high school was beautiful. Everything went smoothly. So, uh, so with that in mind, I'm going to try to help you navigate the, the seas of high school, uh, and knowing full well that, that they're actually tougher than the, the ones in college. So the first thing I'm going to cover is the academic side. Um, in my experience, and I think the common experience, is that in high school, the academics aren't any tougher than they were in eighth grade. You know, of course, they're harder. Every year is harder than the one before it. But you'll walk into high school being prepared for those grades. And in my experience, I mentioned this in my college video, these grades don't really get harder until they start selecting people out of the school. That is to say, like, you know, not until like college, where a bunch of people don't actually go, right? Because they're they're not going to be college kids. Uh, that's when they step up the level of difficulty in these courses. In, in high school, 100% of the kids are going. You're not going to uh, you know, to find that you can't keep up academically. It, it's going to be similar to eighth grade, I think. Papers get longer, you know, homework gets tougher, but you're also smarter, so you're good to go. On the other hand, uh, the social side in high school is going to be tougher than, than you've seen before. Uh, the, I, I suppose it, it varies where you go. You know, I, I, I saw someone in the comments write yesterday that he's like, people still get bullied? Really, that happens? And I think his school has somehow managed to sort of squash all the, you know, all the like violent activity, you know, for lack of a better term. Whereas in, um, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I got saved right there. Whereas in, uh, um, you know, other schools like the one that I went to, uh, if you just looked at a guy wrong, you know, you could get beat up. And it sounds stupid, right? And, and as an adult, there are almost no environments where, you know, you have to, be careful not to look at a person for too long a period of time but in high school that does exist and and let's talk about you know uh, how to conduct yourself in high school so it, typically what happens in an american high school is a, a couple middle schools or intermediate schools whatever they're called in your area will combine and and now there's going to be a lot of people that you didn't know in your new high school and uh in college i told like hey you know don't cling to that one or two guys you knew from your old school in high school that can still happen you know for, for the first couple months you know most of the kids from the school that you were in in eighth grade will will stay together and, and that's okay don't shut your doors to new kids you can meet a lot of, of cool people but um uh, but you don't have to you know completely shut out your old friends and start working on new people that you don't know. Uh, carry yourself with confidence without being cocky. If you can manage that, it's a trick to find that balance, but you'll be okay. Yeah, that, that's what you want to be. You, you want to be a guy you know, who likes himself, and, and that makes it a lot easier for other people to like you too. It helps a lot if you can participate in a sport or a club. Uh, you might think of yourself as not necessarily being the athletic type, but um, but you are. You know, if you expand which sports you're willing to play, like maybe you're fat. Well, dude, you know, there's a spot on the football team. You know, where they need guys who have that weight who can protect the quarterback. Um, maybe you're really small. Well, there's a spot on the wrestling team for you. Trust me, they they absolutely thirst after guys who can make those lower weight classes. So you know, open your eyes a little bit. Maybe you're kind of skinny. Man, there's a spot on the track team for you. And when that happens, you're going to um, you know find a group of guys who can be friends. Find a group of guys who sort of have your back. It is your posse, you know, for lack of a better term. And um, and it's a good thing. And, and the similar type thing can exist in, I don't know, band, French club, Spanish club, uh, science club, whatever it is that appeals to you. It, it's going to appeal to someone else too. There will be a group there and it helps you meet people so much more than, than just being, 
I don't want to say a nobody in some negative way, but you know, just being alone trying to, to make friends. You know, you have a common interest already. Man, this chopper sucked. But yeah, absolutely join a club. It's gonna help you get you know, meet people and do so much better in high school than you would have otherwise. So so don't miss out on that opportunity. Find something that you want and just tell yourself that demand it out of yourself to, to be involved in something. All right, now let's talk about girls. So most of you are guys, I get that. I have 96% guys, according to my statistics here. And I, how many of those four are lying, I, I'm not sure. But uh, but the fact is most of you guys said we're going to talk about girls. High school, one cool thing that you've got coming to you is that it will be, I guess, what I think of as the beginning of your you know relationship and exploration into the opposite sex that... Uh, that you haven't seen before, so so that's nice. You, it's going to be the first time that um, you know, that you begin this in earnest. Picking up girls isn't terribly hard if you uh, keep your chin up, stay confident, and and do your thing. Uh, my suggestion is to make a move. Uh, one of the worst things you can do with girls is to sit there and to think that only one girl is good, that, that spend months and months pining after just her. You know, you, you, a lot of guys find themselves in this situation where they're friends with the girl, but you know, they, they kind of like her. But they're almost in this I'll take what I can get kind of line of thinking. Like, I don't want to ruin my friendship with her. And the reason you don't want to ruin your friendship with her is because you think so highly of her that you'll take whatever little attention she's willing to give you. And you know, and that's not where you want to be, right? You, know, you want to actually like you back for who you are. And if you're not getting that, move the heck on to someone who will give it to you. Uh, don't don't sit there and, and pine after this one girl, hoping that somehow she discovers just how wonderful you really are. Um, much like you, you know, girls make their decisions on whether or not they like someone pretty quickly. You know, in, in pr the first time they meet, something along those lines. So don't sit there waiting for months, hoping that they change their mind. And I know that sometimes that happens, but whatever. This is high school. You don't have forever. Make a move on a girl. If that doesn't work, make you move on another girl. Keep the, <laughs> Repeat this process until you uh, find a fit. That's what you want to do here. Next, I want to talk about the party scene. So um, as freshmen, this probably won't be a, a big problem. I mean, you're <laughs> only semi-invited as freshmen in the first place. But sometime in high school, you're going to be invited to parties that have drugs and alcohol, at least in America, and I assume that's pretty true everywhere. And I, oh gosh, you know, because like I think about what advice I would give my own daughter on something like this, and, and you know, it, it, a big part of me said, don't do it at all, don't even touch it, etc. But to keep a more reasonable expectation, what I really want you to do is keep it under control. That's that's the key thing here that, that, that I want you to take away. It, some guys get wrapped up in partying as a sense of their piece of self-worth. As part of their identity, they are someone who you know goes to parties, who rocks it out, who, who does that sort of thing. And uh, that's not who you want to be. It's not even a good identity. It's not much of an accomplishment. To, you know, to what, have attended a party? You know, to, who really cares? I'm not impressed by that. But, um, uh, you know, so that's, that's where I'm headed on this thing. No one's impressed by what a party animal you are. Uh, it's, it's not cool. That's all I have to say. Don't overdo it on that side of it. It, it could be a big problem and it could mess up your life. So, so just don't be that guy. Another thing that kind of popped into my head was the easy classes. So one of the things that I did wrong in high school that I would do better if I came back was I got some bad grades in easy classes. Now, my grades were absolutely dreadful to begin with. I had one of the lowest high school GPAs of, of anyone I ever met that graduated. But um, I cleaned up my act in college and, and thankfully got into it because I'm a good swimmer. Back on topic, Jim is a class that you can get an A in. Photography is a class that you can get an A in. Home ec, uh, your wood shop, metal shop, etc. If you apply yourself, you'll probably get really good grades in classes like this. And your GPA consists of all the classes that you take, not just your math and English and science and things like that. So um, just don't miss the opportunity to get these, like what I'll call the GPA boosters, you know, the, those classes that, that you can pull A's in even if you're not a gifted student. Because in the end, you know, you'll have a higher GPA, a higher class rank, and, and your you know, college application will be slightly better because of it. So I hope that you found this video useful. And if you have any specific questions you'd like to see covered in future vids, let me know. 
All right, and now for two videos you may not have seen. The top one is a Mail Monday, always a popular series. I talked to a kid who broke the bro code and dated his, his best friend's girl. Uh, I talked to another guy about bullies and how to deal with them. And uh, it also has some pretty good advice for people who are going to high school. And then uh, I, another guy asked a picture of what I looked like when I was younger, so I, I popped one of those in there. Uh, the bottom one is advice for incoming college or university freshmen. So uh, it was a pretty good vid. I, as a matter of fact, I, I feel good about myself when I make good vids, and, and, and I feel like recently I've been on a hot streak. So um, yeah, hopefully you click on those and enjoy something. Have a good day.